At ReviewFuse, we make it easy for public and private writing groups to perform peer critiques. In this brief video, we'll cover the basic functionality of the ReviewFuse platform. The first step, of course, is to sign up for an account. From your group's homepage, simply click the Join Us link. If you don't know the URL for your group's homepage, you can ask your group administrator or your ReviewFuse account rep. After clicking Join Now, fill out the requested information and then click the Create My Account button. Be sure to remember your username and password so you can log in on subsequent visits. The login button can be found on the top right of your group homepage. After signing up or logging in, the first page you see is your dashboard. The dashboard contains a reminder section we call the Remembrancer for outstanding tasks you might want to complete, links to most common actions like uploading your work or performing a review, as well as overviews of your activity in the group, recent works you've submitted, reviews of your work, and activity from all group members. If you've just created a new account, the first thing you'll want to do is upload your work. Click the Upload My Work button at the top right of the dashboard. Then, fill out the required fields and add the content of your work. While you can compose directly on the site, we recommend you write in your preferred word processing application and then upload your document. The site can process most any type of text-based files, but it's probably still a good idea to check the formatting after you've extracted the text. After the form is complete and you've verified that you're submitting original work, click Save My Work. If your group uses Assigned Critiques, you can submit your work for review by other group members from the Upload Confirmation page or later from your dashboard. Now that you've uploaded your work, you're ready to perform critiques for others. There are two ways to do this. You can review works of your choosing by clicking Public Submissions in the utility bar at the top of any page, or if your group is using assigned critiques, simply click the Start Reviewing link at the bottom of the Remembrancer on the dashboard. Please note, if you are using assigned critiques, you must first submit your work for review before the Start Reviewing link appears. It's also helpful to know that you're always free to perform critiques for public submissions but reviews won't be counted toward your assigned reviews goal unless you use the Start Reviewing link. This is important because you can't submit any more of your own work for assigned critiques until you've completed the amount of work assigned to you. Your group administrator controls the number of assigned reviews that must be performed for each submission. For this video, we'll go through critiquing a public submission. Performing an assigned critique is very similar and should be self-explanatory after learning how to critique a public submission. From the list of public submissions, simply click the work you'd like to critique, then click the Review tab. The first step is to read through the work and provide inline comments as you go. Be sure to provide more than just grammar and spelling corrections. Let the author know what you're thinking and feeling as you read, as this is often much more helpful to the author than simple mechanics corrections. To add comments, simply click a paragraph, or to quote the author's text, Highlight the text and it's quoted automatically. After completing the inline comments, you should click through the other tabs of the critiquing rubric or review framework. The tabs may be different for different types of submissions or in different groups, but they will walk you through the various aspects of the work you should consider and critique. The stars allow you to give high-level feedback, but be sure to use the comments for detailed thoughts. Remember to be constructive. A good critique builds and encourages, as well as lets the author know where to make improvements. After you've performed assigned or public reviews, you'll likely start to receive reviews of your own work. To read these reviews, you can click on the View button next to the review on your dashboard, or click the See All Reviews link to get to older reviews. When viewing critiques others have given you, you have the opportunity to thank the reviewer and provide them with feedback about the critique they gave or you can ask them clarifying questions about their review using the Discuss This Review box. When viewing your critiques, you can also click the All on One Page button to view all the reviews for a revision of your work on one page. This can be very helpful to identify commonality across multiple reviews and to know where to focus your efforts when revising your work. Those are the basics of using ReviewFuse in your writing group or class. You now know how to sign up for a group, how to upload your work and submit it for review, how to perform reviews of others' works, and how to see the reviews you receive. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please contact us by emailing 
jacob at reviewfuse.com.